Hello everybody, I am Omega Recon Gaming, and today I ask a very serious question. And that question being, should people with terrible internet connection be allowed to play online games? Not single player games, online competitive games. You know, like Rocket League and, you know, you know Call of Duty, Battlefield, uh, Counter-Strike, um... Dota, um, um, thinking, um, what's another big one? Uh, PUBG, Fortnite, whatever. I don't, in my opinion, I don't believe those people should be allowed. They can play single player games, that's fine, you know. But multiplayer, if you have terrible internet connection, I know you can maybe, so there are people, I've talked to many people that cannot control it, you know, and they just can't afford it. I get that. But why do you have to make other people suffer? I just came from a, I was playing Rocket League on my um, gaming uh, PC. So I have good internet connection. You know, I have a good gaming PC, so I'm, you know, playing, and I'm playing competitive, and then I get, like, this terrible, like, well, you know, a terrible laggy teammate, and he causes us to lose because it was gonna, it was two against three because the, my, my, my ally was freaking lagging, and it was even causing me to lag because I guess the game was trying to do balancing and stuff because I have fine internet. I stream perfect, almost perfectly. Uh, there's some hiccups here and there, but for the most part, I stream fine. Um, and when I go into other matches, I was 100% fine. So, it's, 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 it's just infuriating. Whether, whether I'm playing a shooter or anything just online, and, and I get a teammate that's just lagging or AFK. Well, the AFK is a whole different situation. I get it being away from keyboard, but why would you go into a match if you're going to be AFK? Especially, you know... I'd leave the, you could even just leave the game open, just don't, like, leave the, like, sometimes it's unavoidable, I get that, I've had times when that's happened, but I try to leave the match, you know, because, unless it's, even competitive, I lose one match, it's not a big deal, even in Rocket League, you leave one match, it's not a big deal, multiple matches, yeah, it's a big deal. I cannot tell you how many times I have lost a match because of a, Either a ter well, terrible player, that's, you know, game balance, and, you know, that's not Rocket League's fault. Uh, that's, you know, part of the reason why I've been getting infuriated with Rocket League, is because I keep getting paired with people who have terrible internet connection, and who are terrible, and I'm actually pretty decent, and it's so infuriating that I cannot advance my rank unless I get some friends together, and my friends are all busy, and it's really infuriating because all my friends have pretty good internet, and, oh, it's just so infuriating because when I'm not, when I'm playing with my friends, we I'm pretty good in the ranked. But when freaking I'm with randos, it, it just all goes. Sometimes I might luck out and we get, and I can, you know, carry the team for a victory or, you know, I'll get a good teammate. And then me and him can, you know, maybe pull off a victory by the skin of our teeth or whatever. But for the most part, it's just infuriating. Um, You know, when I get a... I think the worst part is getting, either, I mean, like, when I'm, so, you know, I'm at least pretty decent enough, I'd probably be maybe gold, um, but, you know, I'm stuck in bronze, right, I got demoted to bronze because freaking I kept losing with terrible teammates, and it's so infuriating. And I kept losing over and over and over. I was like, okay, maybe today's just a bad day. Maybe I'll just, like, the bad the players are on today. So I go on a different... I go on the next day. Bad players. Next day. Bad players. And it, it's... This is more of a video that's, you know... I'm tired of getting, you know, connected with people who have terrible internet connection. Because those ruin the games more than the people who are just not good. Like, if, at least if people are not good, they can learn from the experience and get better. For people from terrible internet connections, uh, they might just log out and then, you know, I'm just... Just down a player. 
I don't know if I can depend on them. That's the worst part, is I don't know if I can depend on them. And in a competitive match, that's very important because my rank is on the line and I've worked hours and hours on this rank. So, yes, I do believe that people who have terrible internet connection should not play competitive. They can play, you know, just rando matches because if you get disconnected in, like, the, um, the for fun matches, an AI takes over, you know. Or you can sub into an AI. But in competitive, that per it's just gone. AI does not come in competitive. So it's an extreme disadvantage when you lag out and I'm stuck carrying the team when, you know... Oh, it's so infuriating. <sighs> and it's not the only game I've had a problem with it. Um, I've had problems with it in Call of Duty, but I haven't really played much of Call of Duty, but I remember having a lot of problems with it. Um, man, Xenoverse had a big problem with that, um, with lagging out players, and then I was just stuck with the expert missions. You know what I'm talking about with those expert missions, and, and if one of your players leave, you're fucked. Oh. Oh, my fucking God. Oh. It's so infuriating. I've been wanting to make this video for a long time, but I've held back because I was like, I don't know, it feels like a bit mean, but no, I'm so sick of it. I've This has happened to me so many times, and I cannot stand it anymore. I need to just get my feelings out there. And do, do people agree? Am I being too harsh? If I'm being too harsh, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like this is just unfair to me. I have good internet connection. Why do I have to my why does my experience have to suffer t for a person who has terrible internet connection? I mean, it sucks. I get it. You know, I used to have Comcast. Comcast sucked. You know, but now I have uh What the fuck do I have? I can't even remember. I don't watch TV anymore, so I don't look at my cable box anymore. So, but the point is, I don't have, like, garbage internet anymore, so now I can enjoy, now I can be the person who enjoys playing online games. But I can't when I get that one person, or two, multiple people who just have terrible internet connection. Oh, it's so infuriating. And then, you know, you know what people do when they tr want to try to get, um, on a team? They get a friend that has good internet, and then they... Tr they join with them, so the friend joins in with them, since they have a good internet connection, and they come in a pair, oh, that's so infuriating, because then the friend gets disconnected, and then I get, st oh, it's just a fuck, I wish they gave us an option to report those kind of people, because I would report so many fucking people, you know what, you know what they should do, here, I'm gonna offer a solution, okay, you have to do a, a, a test, of an internet connection test, and it needs to be stable for a certain amount of time. And if it drops too much and is unstable for too long, you uh, you can't play online. I know that sucks, but you know what? You're making everyone else's experience suffer. Okay? So, you know... I don't know what else to say. It's it's unfair. It's unfair because, you know, I you know, I got this gaming PC and it's I'm afraid to play online because I'm afraid of that, you know, having a good time and then that one game it just come that like a person with shitty internet and ruins it and it ruins my streak and it gets me in a shitty mood like I am right now. That's why I'm making this video because I'm in a shitty mood. Oh. What do you guys think? You think I'm uh, blowing this over too much? You know. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Leave a like. You know, also subscribe if you haven't. I'd love, to, you know, your support and everything. You know, I got a bunch of leaks that the <laughs> bunch of links down there. And you can check them out my Twitter and everything else, you know. I really appreciate anything you do. I do I post a lot of stuff on Twitter. I retweet a lot of uh, great things. So, yeah, check me out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.